All you have to do to cut the background from your photos is to mask the area you want to protect, select the area you want to erase, and click the Erase Background button. The background is then separated and erased from your photo. What's more, there's also a handy guide to take you through the process. Start by selecting the Mask Painter tool and stroking over the part of the photo you want to keep. You don't have to be too accurate. Then select the Eraser tool and stroke over the background. Now click the Erase Background button on the Eraser Tool info bar and the background is gone. What you've actually produced is a semi-transparent photo. The background is now totally transparent and the shadows are partially transparent so you can change the background to anything you like and it just works. This feature works really well when you have a high level of contrast between the foreground and the background. So if this isn't the case then it's a good idea to zoom in and then mark the two areas more closely. If you click the Erase Background button on the info bar without actually masking anything, or if you click the little question mark next to the button, then a guide will appear to help you through the process.